Mr. Vashkovsky, thank you very much for participating in this interview. I recently uh, heard or read a, a statement from the PM of Poland. He's saying during the last 30 years, what now is happening is the biggest threat for our national security. Can you explain it to us why this is the biggest threat? Uh, because this is invasion of thousands of illegal migrants who want to illegally cross Poland, violate our law, violate our border guards, and through Poland they go to they want to reach other countries like Germany. Mm -hmm. But uh, they don't want to cross officially through the official cross uh, border crossing because uh, to cross Poland officially they have to provide visas, they don't have a visas. Mm -hmm. uh, and another way to enter Poland is to, uh, to ask for political asylum. Of course they don't want to stay in Poland as a political asylum seekers because uh, in, that, in such a case if registered in Poland mm -hmm. they, will, they will have to stay and live in Poland and not to go to Germany to get a job Mm -hmm. or other social benefits. So that's the problem. They just want to illegally cross Poland. And there are thousands of them attacking our border guards. It's an attack. Uh, we are talking about 7,000 people. But we, when we compare it with, for example, Greece, it's not a big number. Some people think you in Poland are in panic, actually, with the immigrants. Do you agree with that? No, no in panic, because we have about 2 million immigrants working and living with us. They are more than one million, probably one and a half million uh, Ukrainians who are uh, legal, most of them legally working and paying taxes, uh, sending uh, children to school. And there are several thousand uh, Belarusians who are also entering uh, our country, especially after the last uh, uh, election uh, in, in Ukraine, in, sorry, in Belarus. Mm -hmm. uh, they were expelled uh, as, a, as a dissident uh, from the country by Lukashenko. So we have a tradition to, to be a tolerant country. Before the Second World War, we had millions of Jewish people working and living with us, Ukrainian, Belarusian, Lithuanians. Everything was, of course, uh, uh, let's say, cancelled by the Second World War, by Hitler and Stalin. Mm -hmm. uh, but recently we have, as I said, large number of migrants from Ukraine and Belarus. Okay, so the, you don't have any problem with migrants, but you have the problem with not Le useful illegal. migrants. No, or with illegal migrants, I said. Yeah. They, they just don't want to legally cross and stay in Poland. Just they, want, they just want to cross Poland in an illegal way to other countries. We cannot allow. Yeah. What is the solution, uh, Mr. Wiczowski? Well, we, are, we want to stop them at the border, Belarusian border. This, this, uh, this is successful action right now because most of them were not able to illegally cross the border. Mm -hmm. And of course we have to force Belarus and Lukashenko to send them away because we have to explain why they are in Belarus in such number and not only 7,000, there are probably 70,000 maybe mm -hmm. uh, because they were uh, coming by planes to to, Uk to, Uk to Belarus since uh, the summer this year. Yeah. Uh, Belarusian leader Lukashenko promised them in Iraq, in Syria and other countries that will support them mm -hmm. to get access to the European Union mm -hmm. through Lithuania, from, through, through Latvian border and through Polish border. He misled them. Mm -hmm. He asked them to pay a lot of money for the plane tickets, for the accommodation in Minsk, in Belarus, in Grodno, other cities, mm -hmm. and for the assistance to the, to the Polish border. And Lukashenko probably t explained to them that the Polish border will be easy to cross and that mm -hmm. after a couple of days marching or riding through Poland, they will they get to Germany to get to the job market or the social benefits of Germany. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Germany doesn't want them and Poland doesn't allow them to cross in the illegal way the Polish territory. But uh, what we officially heard from Belarus is that they are saying accept 2,000 uh, refugees and the rest we will send them back. No, no. This why is you don't accept, why you don't make a deal? No, Politics no, is no. a deal. We are not going to make a deal with someone mm. who is not a legitimate uh, ruler of the country. Uh, let me once again remind you what happened last summer in Belarus. Mm -hmm. 
the guy was not elected, I mean Lukashenko was not elected as a, as a leader of the country, is not accepted by the people, by the European Union, we cannot make any deal with him. Uh, doesn't matter, 2,000 or 200, we are not going to accept illegal deals. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with the position of the uh, uh, other European uh, Union member states? Are they it's sorry a, there with you? It's a great improvement since 2015-2016 uh, when the European Union was totally surprised mm -hmm. by the huge number of uh, migrants from uh, North Africa and Middle East and opened the border. And we have a problem with them because many of them, they, they don't want to accommodate. They do not work, they live on the social benefits in other yeah. countries. So we don't want to repeat the same mistake of 2015-2016. So number of European countries and European institutions support us right now and mm -hmm. they, they provide support. This is a political support. Yeah. But uh, in the next budget of the European Union, we'll get some millions of euros to build a fence, to build a border defense against illegal migration. Okay, I hear the statement, official statement from the government of Lithuania. They are criticizing indirectly Angela Merkel for contacting Lukashenko and having uh, bilateral uh, movements. Are you also criticizing and we Merkel? Can, and we criticize openly. Openly. Uh, well, I was one of them who, to, who, who first criticized because uh, contacting uh, Lukashenko, who is not recognized by the whole European Union as a legitimate leader of, of Belarus, uh, Madame Merkel violated solidarity of the European Union. Yeah. And then contacting him, uh, him he actually uh, met his uh, expectation because raising this crisis, creating a crisis, he was uh, thinking to, uh, to force European Union countries to start negotiating with them mm -hmm. and by this way to accept him as a, as a leader of, uh, of Belarus. So yes. that's why we criticize uh, Angela Merkel. So you are criticizing uh, Merkel for contacting Lukashenko, but do you see there is a will, in, for example, from Germany or other countries to accept the immigrants? No, there is no will right now. Of course, my migration is possible to European Union if it's legal for those who, first, for those who suffer, yeah. for the victims of war, for yeah. political uh, refugees, uh, but uh, mostly we want to help them there in their countries. Uh, from time to time, of course, different European countries, uh, they may open the border for uh, for, for workers, for migrants who want to work. So just like in Poland, we have more than uh, 1.5 million uh, Ukrainians working uh, on the Polish market, uh, job market, and we have uh, several hundred thousand Belarusians. Yes. So the same is in Germany, the same is in Sweden, uh, Austria, and other countries around Poland. So this is possible. But uh, as I said, this is possible to do this in a, in a legal way. Okay, Lukashenko stated that maybe what right now is happening can lead to war. Well, it's up to him. We, are, we don't want to, to go to war with uh, Belarus. Uh, these are the people pretty much the same as, as Poles. We, we can understand each other. We speak very, uh, very uh, similar languages. Uh, uh, for centuries we were un united, we were living in the same country, big uh, ground uh, kingdom of Poland, Lithuania, Belarus and Ukraine. Uh, but of course we, we understand that <coughs> he may initiate some local conflict, some border incidents. Okay, 13 uh, migrants are uh, dead until now, are died on the borders because of your policy, because you are preventing mm. them to enter the European Union. No, they died because they crossed illegally yes. and they, they, they lost somewhere in the, in the mud, uh, in, the, in the forest. So they, they were trying to sneak into Poland on his own way. So we are not responsible. It's Lukashenko who is responsible because he encouraged them to come to Belarus and he misled, he promised them that it will be easy to cross Poland. Yeah. No, it's not easy because there is a river, there are some forests, there are some uh, 
uh, very difficult uh, terrains, very difficult to cross, and they, they are dying sometimes. They, but that's their own responsibility. Yeah, according to your own institutions, uh, there are data: 70% of uh, Belarusian uh, exports through your train uh, line. For example, why you are not taking other measures for stopping that, trains, for example? That's right now on the agenda. You know, further sanctions and not only to, to prevent some people from the Lukashenko regime to enter the European Union, but uh, the other possibility to sanction, uh, uh, to, to stop uh, export of some goods from, uh, from uh, okay. Belarus, for instance, fertilizer, potassium fertilizers, and the other option is to, to stop the transit. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the highway or the railroad trans transit, but of course we will pay the price also because we participate in this, mm -hmm. in this uh, commercial trade uh, between West and East also. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think security does have a price. Okay, I read many critics about uh, people who, who, were, who, who are already in Poland and they are in, in refugee camps and their situation is not so okay. We are not a rich country like Sweden or Germany, so we cannot offer them luxurious condition. You know, if they enter Poland, they they can live on the same way as as many Poles. You know, we cannot offer them the same uh, social benefits as the most richest country in, in Europe. That's the reason they they want they don't want to stay in Poland. They want to go farther to to Germany. Okay, one thing I don't understand is. Uh Many uh, people are asking Poland to just make a corridor for the people who are trapped in the, on the border to come to Germany. Why Poland does not is, don't want to agree with this because deal? Because this is, this is not a law according to international law, according to European law. Yeah. Those who enter the faced uh, country which is safe yeah. and they are granted political asylum, economic asylum, they are supposed to stay in this country. Yeah. Uh, but the problem that these illegal migrants uh, who are uh, in Belarus, once they in Poland, they don't want to stay. They do, want, they, do, they do not want to be registered and be official refugees in Poland. They just don't want to go farther west to other countries. We cannot uh, allow them. But to the do European this. laws also respecting the human rights of illegal uh, no, migrants. This is, this is not the human right. This is not each country decide on their own. This is, this is nothing like the common European law on migration. This is nothing like this. Okay. How is your cooperation with the Kurdish regional government? Well, I'm not familiar right now because I'm, uh, I'm here for more than two years, so yeah. I don't have a direct contact with Polish administration. Mm -hmm. So I don't know uh, any recent contact between Poland and Iraq and the local administration in, in Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. And what is your message for migrants or people who want to come to Europe through Belarus? Uh, be careful, be careful of uh, those who are giving you promises they cannot fulfill. The European Union and Poland is a, a, a law-abiding uh, country which is respecting law and cannot allow uh, for any illegal migration either to Poland or to other countries. Thank you very much, Mr. Rachkowski, for okay. this opportunity. Thank Pleasure. you.